Hello everyone. Today I will talk about the next lesson in unit one about the graduation of the properties of the elements and the modern periodic table. Okay, so in this lesson we will study many subjects related to the graduation of some properties of elements and the modern periodic table, so in periods and groups. Okay, such as atomic size property, polar compounds and electronegativity and classification of elements in the modern periodic table into metals, non-metals, metalloids, finally inert gases. <coughs> but before that, you must knowing the meaning of atomic size. So if you want to determine the atomic size of any element, okay, of any atom, you must know the atomic radius, which is measured by picometer. So picometer here is a part of from million million part of a matter. That means picometer equals one times ten power negative. 12 meter okay this is very very small tiny unit okay let's study the atomic size in periods and atomic size in groups okay here as you can see this table includes the atomic size of some elements okay Let's study the atomic size, the first one in periods. So we move from left side to right side. The atomic size decreases by increasing the atomic number. So this is why, because the attraction force between the positive nucleus and the outermost electrons increases. Okay, so let's explain this point. Okay, here, this is the nucleus. And this is main energy levels. So inside the nucleus, if the, the number of protons increases this is lead to the attract attract the electrons okay toward the nucleus so this is lead to the shrinks the size of atom okay so that's meaning Okay, so in periods, by increasing, okay, again, by increasing the atomic number from left to right, the atomic size decreases because the attraction force between the positive nucleus and the outermost electrons increases. So that's mean the atomic size is inversely proportional to the atomic number, okay? Here, the atomic size in groups, okay? We moves, we moves from up to down. We moves from up to down, okay? The atomic size increases. The atomic size increases by increasing the atomic number. So this is why, because we moves from up to down, the main energy levels, the number of main energy levels increases, okay? That's mean. Here, here period one, okay? Period one has one main energy level. So period two have two main energy levels. 
Berry 3 have three main energy levels. So, as you can see, the size of atom increases gradually from up to down. Let's back to our lesson. So, in groups, by increasing the atomic number from up to down, the atomic size increases due to the increase the number of main energy levels. Okay? That's mean the atomic size of cesium is more than the atomic size of lithium. And here, in periods, the atomic size of fluorine okay, is less than the atomic size of lithium. Okay, that's clear. Okay, let's study the next property about the electronegativity. Okay, you studied in the last year the covalent compound, which is the bond between two or more nonmetals by sharing the electrons to fill their outermost energy level with electrons okay so if so here this is element a and this is bond and here element b so if one of them if one of them has a higher has a higher electronegativity so for example element a so element A attract attract the bond toward it attract the bond toward it so this is the meaning of electronegativity okay so the electronegativity is it's the ability of the atom in covalent compound molecule to attract the electron of the bond toward it okay so the electronegativity play a role very important to definite <clears throat> to definite a kind of compounds such as polar compounds okay and nonpolar compounds and ionic compounds so in our lesson we will study only polar compounds so, the difference in electronegativity between elements forming covalent molecules measures the polarity of these molecules. Therefore, covalent compounds are classified into polar compounds and nonpolar compounds. So, what is the meaning of polar compounds? The polar compounds, they are a covalent. They are a covalent compound in which the difference or subtraction in electronegativity between elements is relatively high okay let's take an, an example to explain this point example here i have two molecules water molecules h2o ammonia molecules nh3 okay here look at the table here the table here illustrating the element and its electronegativity. So the nitrogen, its electronegativity 3 equals 3. Oxygen equals 3.5. Hydrogen 2.1. Okay. The first example is water molecules. The water molecules here consist of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Okay. That's mean the polar uh, the water molecules is considered from polar compounds so this is why because when subtraction the electronegativity of oxygen 3.5 minus 2.1 equals 1.4 so 1.4 here okay considered as relatively high okay so the water molecule considered from 
polar compound. This is why, because the difference in electronegativity between hydrogen and oxygen is relatively high. Also, ammonia is from a polar covalent compounds. This is why, because the difference in electronegativity between nitrogen and hydrogen is relatively high, which is equals 0 0.9. Okay, if I want to compare between water molecule and ammonia molecule, okay, you will note that the polarity of water molecule is more than the polarity of ammonia molecule. This is why, because the electronegativity between oxygen and hydrogen in water molecule is more than the difference, <clears throat> the electronegativity or the difference in electronegativity between nitrogen and hydrogen. Okay? That's which is equal 0.9. Okay, let's move on to the classification of elements in the periodic table. So all of these elements in the modern periodic table classified into four kinds of compounds. <coughs> metals, non-metals, metalloids, finally, NRT gases or noble gases. Okay, the first one about metals okay you learned or studied the last year the uh, the metals okay and all metals have less than four electrons in outermost energy level and they tend to lose their electrons and change into positive ion okay so the electronic structure key pay attention the electronic structure of the positive ion is similar to the of the nearest preceding NRT gases in the periodic table. So what does that mean? Here, example, the electronic configuration of sodium atom is 281. And the sodium atom tends to lose its electron. Okay, and the change into positive sodium ion and carries one electron. Okay, so the electronic configuration of positive sodium ion is 2 8. Okay, it's 2 8. So 2 8 here is similar, is similar the the nearest preceding NRT gases, which is neon. Okay, which is neon. Okay, here, sodium atom. They lose one electron. Okay, so this is the electronic configuration of positive sodium ion so the electronic configuration of positive sodium ion is similar to the preceding NRT gases which is neon look at here so the electronic configuration of neon is similar to the electronic configuration of positive sodium ion okay that's clear So look at here, the sodium, it has 11, it has 11 atomic number, and the, the, the precedes, so the elements, the elements it precedes, the sodium is neon, neon 10. Here, let's study the non-metals, okay? So all, all non-metals, 
have more than four in outermost energy levels and they tend to gain electrons and change into negative ion okay but here the electronic structure of negative ion is similar to that of nearest that <clears throat> inert gases that follows that follows the nonmetal in periodic table okay for example here chlorine 17 the electronic uh, the electronic configuration 287 so the chlorine loses uh, uh, sorry gains one electron and change it into negative chlorine ion and carries one negative electron so the electronic configuration here becomes 288 okay so the electronic configuration chlor chlorine 287 gains one electron and the change into 288 and carries one negative electron so the electronic configuration of negative chlorine ion similar to the electronic configuration of argon 288 okay look at the here the electronic configuration 288 is similar to the electron configuration to of argon 288 okay that's clear uh, finally uh, we will study the metalloids metalloids or semi metallic elements so there are six element in the modern periodic table okay belong to metalloids belong to metalloids so what is the meaning of metalloids metalloids they are element have the properties of both non-metal and non-metals have both metals and non-metals okay so they are the elements which have the properties of metals <coughs> in some cases and also have the properties of non-metal in other cases okay so the example the examples of metalloids which are boron and the number of electrons in outermost level is three silicon four arsenic AS5, tellurium, Te, the outermost electron is 6, germanium, okay, 4, finally, antimony, the number of electrons in outermost level is 5, okay, that's all uh, today, the next lesson. I will explain the rest of lesson. Thank you for listening.